everyone. How are you? Visited a doctor? Have you? You must have seen him using an instrument, which is called as the stethoscope. Today, we are going to try and make our own stethoscope. For that, we are going to need a funnel, a tube, and a balloon, which is torn, and a rubber band. So, first, we are going to take the funnel and put it into the tube properly. Insert it properly into the tube. Then you are going to take the rubber that is the balloon rubber and place it on the funnel. And then tie it tightly with the rubber band. Once it is done, your stethoscope is ready. Now you can place the stethoscope near your heart and you can hear your heart beats. Now we know that our heart beats continuously. Now how does a beat is formed? Let us understand that. The blood, that is the deoxygenated blood from the body goes to the right atrium. Our heart is four chambered. So it has the right atrium, the left atrium, the left ventricle and the right ventricle. So the deoxygenated blood, that is the impure blood, it goes to the right atrium. And from the right atrium, it goes to the right ventricle and from there it passes to the lungs and from the lungs it takes the oxygen and becomes energized and then comes to the left atrium and then from the left atrium it goes to the left ventricle and through the aorta the blood is passed to the whole body. So this pushing of the blood from the aorta causes one beat. That is how we can understand that our heart beats continuously and in one minute a normal person's heart can beat up to 72 to 80 beats per minute and when we are breathing heavily or when we are doing heavy exercises that time our heart will beat 120 min, uh, beats per minute. I hope you understood how the heart beats and why the stethoscope is important for the doctor to check whether your heart is healthy or not. That is why doctor uses a stethoscope. Thank you so much.